Scientists just figured out the fungus that Albert Hoffman unknowingly worked with when he first synthesized LSD. Meet Paraglandula clandestina. She is gorgeous, she is beautiful, she is also a sneaky little fungal symbiote that lives inside morning glories. Yes, Albert Hoffman was trying to figure out what gave morning glories their psychoactive properties when he accidentally created LSD. Did y'all know that morning glories were psychoactive? Because I definitely did not. Today, I truly learned. Turns out, ancient Mesoamericans, of course, have known about the mind-altering effects of morning glories and have used it in religious rituals for centuries. Here's why this discovery is such a big deal. Morning glories are known for their symbiotic relationships with fungi to produce ergot compounds. But if this was already known, why did it take more than 60 years to find the LSD-producing fungus hiding in these flowers? The answer is pretty fascinating. Typically, hallucinogenic fungi live on the outside of plants where you can see them. Researchers looked all over these morning glories, even at 200x magnification, and found no sign of any fungi on the surface. That's because these clever little fungi were hiding inside the morning glory seeds and even in the roots. Hence the name P. clandestina, which is basically sneaky fungus in scientific terms. And the coolest part is that this discovery was made by a microbiology student, Corinne Hazel, at the University of Virginia. Hazel's sharp eyes noticed the subtle fuzz on the seed coats of the morning glory plants, which led to the discovery. Now that scientists know where LSD's natural source has been hiding all along, it could lead to new and more powerful pharmaceuticals, especially for treating migraines and neurodegenerative conditions. It's pretty fitting that discovering the hiding place of LSD's fungal source was nearly as accidental as discovering LSD itself. Sometimes the most important scientific breakthroughs happen when we think to look where we never thought to check.